Welcome to Type 2 Detectives, everyone. It's our 30th birthday year, and as a result, we want to do something special. We've got so much exciting things going on this year, uh, loads of really cool builds. We're going to start the channel with a few makeovers. We've got a 54 right-hand drive barn door that's been stuck away in our barn for the last 10 years. We're going to drag that out, recommission it, take it to Belgium next month. Uh, we've got a Porsche 924, which um, has seen better days. We've partnered up with uh, a valeting company. No, we haven't. We've, <laughs> we've, we've, we've partnered up with a detailing product company, Starnagloss, who you may or may not have heard of. If you've heard of them, you certainly would have heard of them. Jack's a great character and some fantastic products, so the car's going off there shortly. Uh, third project, we're a little bit undecided on. I think we're going to do a one-day makeover on a bay window and probably try and set the world record for lowering a Volkswagen camper van in less than 60 minutes. So let's show you around and see what we've got. Thank you very much. Here we go. So, main foyer area. This is the area of Type 2 Detectives where you walk into. The first thing that's, that hits you is the smell. The smell of beautiful coffee. We've got our own coffee facility there. All freshly, freshly roasted beans that we have done for us. And this here is a cutaway, original cutaway engine that would have been used back in the day to um, educate Volkswagen technicians in, in a training uh, environment or maybe in the main dealer. Not entirely sure. Maybe some of you could tell us what it was used for and the history on them in the comments below. Uh, a little bit of merch. Uh, we recently found um, some t-shirts that we produced about 10, 15 years ago, new old stock. So we've got a limited run of those available on our website. Uh, shameless plug there. Uh, more parts. We're a great ambassador of build fine shock absorbers, which we, one of our number one products, we'll be telling you much more of those on the channel. Uh, as you come through here, we have the showroom. It's actually very Porsche heavy at the moment. Um, really cool 914. We're trying to get this prepared for Goodwood uh, members meeting. At the moment, it's kind of got the handling kit on it, uh, but we are gonna go the opposite direction. We're gonna make it a Safari 914 with a bit of luck. So with the help of Elephant Racing in the States, it's gonna be raised by about six inches all round, big chunky tires. Uh, probably going to change the orange out and put, get rid of the orange and put black on it instead. Uh, loads of ideas are sort of bubbling around in the, in the staff room at the moment of what we're going to do to that. Over the back, we've got the Penfold Porsche, which was a collaboration between us and the street artist, Mr. Penfold. More of that on the channel later on. Through here, we have a uh, Ducati motorbike and a bus that's crying out for the Ducati livery. So hopefully we've kind of put the two of them together in the hope that whoever buys the bus will commission us to do maybe a Ducati uh, tribute bus, um, someone that's into motorcycles, someone that maybe wants to sit somewhere to sleep at the MotoGP or something like that. But yeah, it's quite cool. We've got a Carmen gear that belongs to a customer of ours, Ken, that we've been doing for a little while. We're just waiting for the final polish trims, bumpers, nice set of wheels, a slight lowering job, and that'll be heading off to the customer. Cool little 924 in the back, which that is cool, because it's mine and one of my favorite cars. And then the main content of the channel is gonna be what's gonna be going on through our pink tunnel. And through the pink tunnel, we have the Type 2 Detectives Workshop, which is where all the, where all the magic happens, where the passion lies. So let's talk about maybe one of our first projects. Come on through. One of the first projects we're going to show you as part of the channel is the recommissioning of our 54 right-hand drive barn door bus. Now, as, um, as was mentioned previously, we have been storing this van away for the last 10 years. It does already look pretty cool, so we're not going to do too much in that department, but we're going to probably drag the guys upstairs in a minute, have a little chat, get some plans together, and see if we can get this thing done in record time. Plan. 
barn door, a little bit of a two day recommission, it's been sat for 10 years, drag it out of the barn, health check and just go through everything. Um, VW Engine Company have uh, done us a mega deal on the 1776 for it. Grab some disc brakes from CSP because I think it's still running drums. Yeah, you yeah. can do a servo upgrade. Anything that could go wrong, rip out, replace with new, remove all the weak links in the chain, uh, stick a row of first, uh, stick some seats in the back, and then how about a company trip to Belgium? Nice, nice, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Pretty good. So uh, we'll have to go through the the list of the hit list of exactly what we're going to do. But let's yeah, get on the ramp now, pull the motor, pull the box, start going through it. Yeah. That's nice. good. Great. Good. 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 How are we doing? Wow, we've got it out. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Got the engine out now, just about full gearbox. And hopefully we'll be fuel ready, fuel ready for tomorrow. Drain all that dodgy old fuel out the tank. Yeah, it's going to be drained out now. Good. And uh, yeah, we good. Good, good. Looks yeah. alright, right, not it? It's not bad. And it might, it might be some gearbox next. Good, here we go. Get it out. Alright, you ready, Sam? Yep. Right here. Can you pull your axle? We've got one little bolt left in the top. So it's been so long, I forgot what we actually did. So originally it had straight axle, the adjustable spring plates. Um, when you do the servo, should we make some spoke braided fuel lines, uh, brake lines? Yeah, I reckon that'd be best really. They like said they've all upgraded. You know good. that's not going to go wrong. Good, good. Same with fronts. It's pretty clean, isn't it? It is, yeah. Especially if they're having CSP brakes. You definitely have to have the servo with it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mark! And as if I'm magic, he appears. Uh, there he is. Right, this is a gearbox. It is, isn't it? What would you recommend, Dr. Gearbox? I would change axle boots because they're probably going to leak from the way there. Axle boots. Um, hub seals and then the back and, the, and reseal the backing plates. Um, you check the nose pan, it's got a frame there in the um, hockey stick brush. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take the drums off and check the brakes, yeah. which are the wheel cylinders are okay. You get it on the um, get on the stand, Chris. Can you call VW Heritage? Get all the bits sorted. Yep, that'll be fine. And then we'll um, speak to your engine company about the engine. I reckon. Cool. Lovely. Nice. Nice. Thank you.
morning everyone, thanks for coming in. Right, so the barn door project is getting there. Um, Chris has been in all week, done the servo upgrade. Yeah. Uh, Mark's wrenched the gearbox out and up hills, well he's done axle boots. Nose cone. New nose cone, so hopefully that won't break. So this morning, Sam and Matt, if you can get the gearbox in. Um, ben and Chris, disc conversion on the front. CSP has sent us some discs, which are really good. Uh, anyone seen Mark? No, no I'm not by now. Mark's supposed to be doing the engine, so hopefully Mark will be here shortly. Jared can crack on and remove the uh, rat's nest, which is the wiring. Certainly can. And just, just make it bulletproof, basically. You know, okay. you know the catchphrase, make it bulletproof. And give yeah. Mark a call. Give Mark a call. Cool. I'll call Mark in a minute. Yeah. Also, um, James, the sales guy. I really wants to be part of this, and I've told him to actually told him to um, come in and just give us a hand, sort of presenting because he loves the sales guy. He loves that sort of thing. <laughs> so um, I've told him not to turn up in that daft car of his, which no doubt he will. He I've does told, love it. Yeah. he loves it every day. He's seeing him in it. Every day. I've told, <laughs> every him, day, I've yeah. told him to wear a boiler suit so he can come in and mingle in and get his get his hands dirty if he wants to, but just, just humour him a little bit, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. good. All right, let's go. Right. What are you wearing, James? You should wear a suit. I'm in a boiler suit. You're going to be getting your hands dirty. I told you not to bring that. You're going to look daft. Uh, I'm the presenter. Just come in. Morning. What the f is that? Is that a boiler suit? It's not a boiler suit. <laughs> what is that? Morning, what? Look at that outfit. It's the nicest, it's the nicest boiler suit I've ever seen. <laughs> Jared. Hi, Jared. What the? <laughs> you feeling alright? And he's brought his car. No. Nah. Oh, yeah. Still running alright? Wait for not. Excellent. So, CSP brake kit. You've sold a few of these. I have many, many in my time. So, when are you getting your hands dirty today? Perhaps I'll go get changed first, eh?
Right then Paul, well, it's 11 o'clock into the build, so let's have a quick update, shall we? Yeah, well, firstly Mark hasn't turned up, God knows where Mark is, so the engine is pretty uh, static at the moment, um, so he's going to have to do a bit of overtime in the week. Um, Matt and Sam have got the gearbox in, um, as you can see, we've reconfigured um, the shock mounts on the back. So we can use our Bilstein shock absorbers. I'm a barn door, the, the clearance is really tight, so we've done some inboard top shock mounts. Uh, new clutch piece bearing, all the gubbings are in there. New clutch cables going in. We're going to put a new accelerator cable on it. CSP discs almost complete. Um, we've done made bespoke stainless steel braided brake lines, which give you a really nice firm pedal. Um, as we said earlier, Chris has done all of the uh, the brake servo which we've mounted underneath the cab seat mm -hmm. for extra ground clearance. When we built the van originally, James, we, yeah. um, we, we made our own narrowed beam for it. Okay. Barn door stuff's totally different. And there's something about barn doors, I think it's because of the, the way the cast is set on them from factory. They just, when they're lowered, they just, they're an absolute dream to drive. So right. you'll, you'll get to have a go in it. It'll be a little bit different to your car, so um, take a day to get used to. So what have we got going in the rear then? So, type 2 detected adjustable spring plates. The van was, we did a straight axle um, conversion on the van mm -hmm. when we originally did it 10 years ago, which basically means removing the reduction boxes. Right. So these things have reduction. The, when these things were built, they were like, they were used like we use, you know, Ford Transits, etc. today. So, yeah. very low power. So, they maximised the power by having reduction boxes, which pulled things fully laden up hills. Right. But now they don't get fully laden, we've got more power. Remove the reduction boxes, much better high speed gearing equals better motor oil speed, less revs per minute on the engine. So here, adjustable spring plates so we can preset the ride height and adjust it. Yep. Put some new brakes on, we use Porsche 924 wheel cylinders. Okay. Uh, we use uh, CSP um, rear drums, which basically use, utilize um, Trekker brakes use and the five bolt pattern so we can use the original style wheels. So nice. everything in there now should be pretty bulletproof. And uh, Belgium, here we come. Look forward to it. So what's Jared been up to in the back? So Jared spent the morning, um, all of the, all of the brake, uh, not brake hoses, all the wires were covered in this god awful conduit stuff, which yeah. I always hate to see. So that's the battery earth strap, which will be replaced. All the wiring was like that. So we stripped all, that, all of that off, checked all the wiring, um, pretty much made a complete new loom. Flute, new loom. We've used loom tape on it, so it looks quite period. Um, obviously takes into account the modern alternator and stuff, and the, we're gonna run a 1776 in it. One, one gauge that we always recommend that you use is an oil temperature gauge. It's gonna have full flow cooling, but you know, these things are, you know, you normally drive these things around the running temperature. The harder you drive, the warmer they get. It's just nice to have that little bit of um, monitoring. Peace of mind. Yeah, peace of mind, and you can, you know, Better the devil you, you know than the devil you don't. So if it gets hot, it's nice to know it's getting a little bit warm. It's back off Just the back gas. Back off the touch, yeah, absolutely. So um, yeah, it's all good. So engine-wise, over here, um, God knows where Mark is. Mark's job today was to build this motor up. Um, we've, we've got all new um, tinware from Heritage Parts Centre. They've supplied us some speed exhaust, which we'll show during the build-up. Uh, VW Engine Company have done us an absolute amazing deal on 1776. They do always do a, little, a few little tricks on our engines. We do a lot of work with VW Engine Company and we've got a few little bespoke tricks they do just for us. But um, as you can see, it's got full flow takeoffs and return for our full flow oil system. Um, everything's new on this engine. So new case, new barrels, new heads, everything. Everything brand spanking new. It's got a counterweighted eight down crankshaft. So we're not going full on, you know, if it was a full on power build, we'd build the engine here in house. Yeah. But for our sort of off the shelf turnkeys, a lot of the time we use engine company. Really great company, really great guys. Any, you know, they're, they're, they're absolutely, you know, bulletproof these things. And um, yeah. So Belgium. we're going to have a usability. Belgium will be a doddle with this. So well, before we go, we want to get probably four or five hundred miles on it. Mm -hmm. re reset the valves, a couple of oil changes in the mix, and the thing will, you know, the better we look after it, 
the longer it will last. Of course. So that's episode one, done and dusted. Bit of a learning curve for everyone. We're starting to loosen up a little bit. Things will get easier, I'm sure, even for me and James. So next episode, we are going to be covering the engine install and make this thing look totally minimalist, really funky. Get it in there. And also, we're collaborating with a very, very well-known brand who will be revealed. And we're going to sign right the vehicle, um, age it all out, and that will be the cherry on the cake. So be sure to follow us. Like, subscribe, share, comment below, hit the thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.